Finally tonight, in his more than 40 years on 60 Minutes, Mike Wallace told us more than 800 stories. Today at a memorial service in New York, Mike's family, friends and colleagues told their favorite stories about him. So here's to the life of Mike Wallace. So here's to life and every joy it brings. That's Barbara Cook, who Mike once profiled for 60 Minutes. One of Mike's seven grandchildren, Wallace Bourgeois, said that this is his favorite picture. It is one of those perfect pictures snapped when nobody knew it was being taken. Scattered on the steps around them are the rest of us, smiling equally wide, basking in the love of our grandfather. Mike loved being Mike Wallace. 60 Minutes producer Bob Anderson traveled the world with Mike for 18 years. Sometimes when we entered an airport and people hadn't realized Mike was there, he'd look up at a flight monitor and in his distinctive voice bellow out, I see United is running late again. <laughs> Morley Safer remembered playing a practical joke on Mike. I was part of a cabal that sent a spurious letter ostensibly from the so-called genius sperm bank, inviting Mike to join various Nobel Prize winners <laughs> in making a deposit or donation or whatever it's called. He roamed the hall brandishing that letter. Chris Wallace, now the host of Fox News Sunday, remembered the last time he saw Mike, shortly before his death. Even in his diminished state, there was no one who was more fun to be around. He was still Mike Wallace, and that was still plenty. So long, and here's to 